Yeah, just nobody can run away. Yeah. I feel like Secret just... Well, maybe it's just to take I'm power. Heroes. Okay. Jumping on a Taiga. He just showed back up into lane. Dodges the Dissimilate hits, that bars but TV. they do have the Stampede. Nisha won't be able to find Taiga. He's hidden to the right. Uh-oh. Now Rita, a spear catches Nisha, and he will pay the price. Trying to dive in. Oh, speaking of dives, Zayats goes for that kill as well and will also be punished as OG showing up. 24 the armor. The they damage block the there back. as well. Yuragi still out of mana here. The Stampede to be able to chase him down. They need to be able to keep him in sight, and they cut through all the trees. A nice use of the Supernova. It will die, but it ensures the kill onto the Slark and maybe BZM as well. Well, they don't have to scale move. that world directly himself. It's more about what he does for his other cores. So they're going to have to fight into the they Aegis. Agree. They are going to be fight. able to get the Blink Stomp with the follow-up from the Dawnbreaker ultimate. And that First is light. just enough AoE. And his ult. He used his ultimate. He used a lot there. The Terror Eye is being threatened. They could drop it in, in a, a second. He'll use it now. Yuragi thinking about going for the kill. Instead, he backs up, catches Puppy. He was stuck inside the arena. Rezo actually jumping in, hits the two-man stomp. Still have an he here. is super tanky. Popped the Stampede, but the rest of the team really couldn't follow him in there especially with the Brambles being in the way. Now OG thinking about jumping again, but the Void Spirit may have just found an opening. Going forward and with the Supernova Got on the stun. Looking very nice. The Slark going to be maybe stunned, but Dark packs away and just outside of the explosion of the Supernova. BZM with his Arcane Rune continuing to toy <laughs> with Team Secret. He definitely wanted that low cooldown ult. You know he was yeah. thinking about it just for the, the chip. OG can re-engage here. This oh, they're going to go back into HP. Amar now, but here comes that wave. A big amount of damage, but they've lost Amar, and Yuragi is probably not super happy to fight either. Dark Pact isn't going to protect him from that, surrounded by Coming five. So Rezu going to break the smoke and blinks away. Nicely timed. He's just going to take it. He's still it. going for it, but this is the second pounce as well with the two-man stomp. A follow-up from Chrysalis as well, getting the chains done in. Amar turning back in, gets the arena, pins out the Centaur who falls. Oh, man, and overgrowth. Chrysalis, they do have the ultimate on top of that overgrowth, but he dies immediately on impact. Chen is going to fall as the Supernova cleans him up. Are they going to buy back to be able to take this fight? Nisha's going to be locked down by another pounce, but they do have the Glimmer Cape. Spear to the side. He goes in. Astral step forward, trying to go for Amar, but the Dissimilate will get him out. The Slark hunting for him. He actually went into the river here. Oh, He's going to go for that greedy. regen room. That is crazy. He played, dissimulate, went for the kill onto the quap, but missed it. Astral stepped on through, pinned up against the wall. Amar hits him. They He's do so have tanky. the heals coming out from the Phoenix, though. And Nisha's going to continue to go for it. He jumps forward, missed the Astral step, though. Goes for the magic damage onto Amar. Can he finally finish off the OG offlaner? And he does. Gets that dominating, but at the same time, a How little bit more he heals. Alive? How is he still able to get out? BZM's going to chase after him. The Glimmer Cape is going to be there, the 8th of Remnant, he blinks right past it. No BZM, way, they don't see dude. him, the Glimmer Cape, he's able to jump down and TP out. Absolute Nisha monster. gets away. Unbelievable. It's still going to be a fight, though, as Rezo's now back in town. He died at the very start like of this we're team. We're hitting fight. a certain kind of peak here for Team Seeker. Down the got to be blocked by the Pounce. They do manage to get the tree in inside of the arena. They're going to go for the kill off the Bulwark, but Chrysalis landed and destroyed the Dark Will. Now starts laying the damage onto Yuragi, who's got to be careful. One Star Breaker. It does Trying a decent amount. Meanwhile, the supports at the back line, they still haven't finished off no the way. tree protector, but they get them both with the Sonic Wave. Amar is stuck in no man's land, though, and he is going to fall here. Meanwhile, on the side, Void Spirit is still playing a do, -si -do against two heroes, apparently. Yuragi and BZM, they manage to get him on the leash, but they have the Glimmer Cape. They have the Aetherans as well. He's in that form to simulate on over to the side. They catch out Yuragi, and now BZM, his BKB is going to fade soon. He's got to blink on out of here. Nisha, again. Forcing the attention of two very important OG also gives heroes. Also so much extra burst damage for this Queen of Pain, who, again, will, is going to be the one who carries this fight long term. Nisha, Nisha is just not shy about going and initiating on Amar. They want to use this Aegis. Oh, managed to get the blink away. Not sure how we Wait, got that the one off. The second Star Breaker is going to be used here, but this is an awkward initiation. In fact, Chrysalis is just getting 100 to 0. Arena. That is going to be the Aegis, but the Arena of Terrorize combination is destroying the rest of Seeker as well. Double, Double Sonic wave. wave going out. Nisha's going to be able to survive. Can Chrysalis get out? No way in hell. He's still got he a heals geez. himself pretty nicely. Does go for the kill onto Taiga and gets it too. He's battling all by himself though, and eventually he will be picked apart. Zayinas of OG and Egg being used too. Oh, secret. Fumbling. They had a decent advantage. They had an Aegis, but... BZM oh. just... Whoa. <laughs> teeping into everybody. BZM just teeping into pretty much where all of Secret is, and they're going to go try and get the... Okay. 
BZM actually got a little bit low there. The Chrysalis needs to get out. They don't have a BKB for him. Turns around, uses that last Star Breaker, heals a decent amount. He tries to go pop the ultimate. That's not going to be allowed either. The Lotus Orb isn't going to save him either. He gets beaten down. The soldiers of Amar marching forward. Bulwark after Bulwark. Now it's going to be Coming Puppy next. You, puppy. puppy run, Puppy run. He is dead. And they've caught Zayats as well inside of the arena. The two supports down. Three heroes dead. One of them with buyback and straight to the throat, OG threatening the tier fours. Hipping his old friend Amar, feeling himself this game. Putting on a clinic with this Ax bulwark. God, BZM just bots into a random skeleton there in the jungle too. Secret, their last hold, they're gonna pop the supernova. Can they keep the egg alive? They're gonna try and focus it it's down. They do down. manage to do so in time. Everybody from OG. Focusing on that Phoenix, and now it's nobody's left. There's no more team fight. Centaur's gone. He's going to buy back Nisha. He can maybe do some damage here or there to some supports, but I don't know how they deal with the one and only Amar. 1,600 damage to finish off Nisha. Send him back to their fountain. Send him running, Amar, because OG take game one. In stylish hey, fashion. Uh, we indeed needed an Amar hero, and this is... Be a Mar okay. hero. Okay, trees are not your friend, and Eidolons are not Yuragi's friend. <laughs> they, it looks like they get a double I'll for it. Meld hit, but it, it, it's just the matchup is just not fun for a pocket Yuragi. You're nice not safe blocking. anywhere, son. Zayat's absolutely merciless. Now the rotations are going to come in. They're going to use the black hole to finish off this Dusha. Can they get a counter kill somewhere through this? Rezo goes for the TP out. Coil. And the coil is there. It stops him just in time for the TP completes. BZM is actually a little bit low here, but Amar even joining in on this one. Snowball going out, Zayats. He's going to try and get that kill, but BZM will just barely live through it all. He's going to have to walk to base. No TP. Five no way, no way, no way. Is he going to be able to get it? Oh! Like 35 seconds. It's an awkward point. Meld hit. Look at all that physical damage. It's overwhelming to Timber Size. So use the Yules. He's going to come back down into Resolution, who's popped the BKB. Doesn't, doesn't see the oh. opportunity. The egg's going to successfully blow up here. A really good setup. The Age has been expended. They do have the black hole onto the puck. Crystal is going to jump onto that one. The puck does die. Nisha, meanwhile, burned through the refraction. No refraction. They're jumping through him, and he's going to have some problems we'll here. See. Saved by the snowball. Where is he going? On top of Yuragi. So when they come back through, the Chakram's going to pull back and finish off the Templar Assassin, but they got serious damage on Yuragi. He's now dead. Amar self Yules with the Timber Chain to bring him back down to quick escape. Very nicely played by him. And now chases after the with the Tumbler toy. toy to get on top of the Slark who does die. Amar throws Snowball through. Oh, Zayats, you are insane, my friend. He's still got Resolution around. He's Couldn't did. actually get the last hit on any of those kills. Taiga is going to be finished off by Resolution eventually here. And it looks like Chu is going to be chased down Rezo by Puppy God. as well. So Zayats, his turn. Do does. not clump here. There's a big black hole waiting for you. They're going to jump forward. Resolution, just a bit of a poke. Now Zayats, he followed through with that poke, but immediately overwhelmed by OG. Now Nisha's here. Throw some damage around. They're going to pop the Stone Gaze and start chasing. They got the silence onto the Slark as well. Looks like the stun going out onto Nisha with a Chakra on top. And they Hold do on have the two. Black Hole, but it's on top of the Supernova. Chrysalis comes through. They do finish off one hero, but Chrysalis living. getting low. And Taiga actually successfully explodes. Two-man stun out of Chrysalis and Resolution. The punch goes through, and the Phoenix does fall. But Amar is still alive, and he's still putting out the damage. Chrysalis did manage to get away. Couldn't finish off the puck, but Amar, he's able to finish off Straight his opponent. And he's going to be able to catch up to the Slark as well. He's got a pounce, but he will not get far. Sliced down by Amar. Nisha, TP out. He is map, find your window. That said, Yuragi, he's out very far. Yuragi, where are you, son? What are you doing here? Well, that's going to be the first life. The upside is, OG, they can still fight for the second life. They're going to throw down the Supernova right as the first death goes through. And they do manage to catch him with the Hex, with the stun. Nisha barely getting off the BKB, but the refraction charges are oh, just barely enough. He blinks back, TP's out. He's away to safety. Zion's using his own BKB with the help of Chrysalis. Turn around and start putting some damage onto Amar. Timber chains backwards. Looks like Puppy is going to be caught in the five position battle between Chu and Puppy. Now the oh, black hole beautiful. catching the two. Will be able to finish off one. Looks like a nice save there from BCM, but the second black hole is still Round ready to go. Two. They're going to be able to catch the Dusa again, and this time the Timber saw the snowball coming through. Yuragi eats the cheese, though, and the damage now turning back into the favor of Team Secret as Chrysalis is trying to pounce himself away. Nisha is still here, Looking standing and delivering five. up against Yuragi. The butterfly he actually caught him. The Slark goes down. Nisha's left alone as the sole damage dealer as just 
Resolution sitting on the side trying to help out. They actually go for the buyback now. Make sure Nisha doesn't die, but the side Another comes hex. through. They've caught Resolution. He turns around, pulls Ooh. him up. Nisha does manage to catch BZM just in the nick of time. The Supernova will scare away the two cores, so this Catching buyback. Boys, don't worry. Yeah, you pump fake it like 30 times. He might catch him. He got caught. Okay, Chew. He's going to die here, trying to start a fight. The Chrysalis BKB is on cooldown, though. Remember, Amar has no buyback. Yeah, this is gonna, definitely going to be awkward. Nisha, well, Nisha, he's actually pretty far away. He's channeled to a trap, but he's still pretty far. The kickback kick goes through. The snowball is going to try and keep him there with a pounce as well. Nisha's going to jump forward and go for Taiga at the same time. Amar is going to be able to timber chain away to the side. They got the scythe on to Nisha. Nisha's in. And BZM, he's going to start focusing him down if he can, keeping him in place with the coil. The stone gaze, or... The gaze. Oh, there comes the black hole. Resolution, no first gaze. one, going to be thrown down onto the Deuce. The Deuce is going to be able to survive through it, but the second round, that's going to be able to catch the Timbersaw as well. The Supernova explodes, though. Stop at the second black hole, shy, but it's enough damage to be able to kill the Deuce on immediate buyback. Resolution trying to work his way back. He does have that BKB defense against the Witchblade. Zayat, meanwhile, is trying to finish off Amar. No such luck. Not enough damage. He Turns around, throws out the shards. The Bloodthorn. Oh, the it's crits. ripping through these heroes. Both of them are going to fall. Two and BZM die. Immediate buybacks being used, but Rambles secret of all shards. The kicks, the punches, being super annoying for BZM. There's the kickback. Onto Amar, self fuels to buy a little bit of time here. It's a huge Taiga kill. is going to come no through buy. the side. They're going to try and blow him up. The E-Blade is buying him a little bit more. Timber Chain throw the away, snowball. but Snowball stops him. Science cuts him down. That's a dead hero for two minutes. As now he's struggling to get out, but the coil no stone will snap gaze. his neck. Chrysalis, he's going to jump forward, catching up. They're the not going to allow thorn. this Medusa to walk away. The Bloodthorn is allowing them to shred through this Medusa. Yuragi's going to fall. Taiga, he's not getting anywhere either. Hello, Black sir. For Would security. you welcome to the abyss? Resolution sends GG. him down, and that is a GG called out. OG. They fought long and hard for this one, but it did feel like yeah. it was Something just that's just that's okay. yeah, that's that's kind of the same. Okay. Zayat, well, he's going to be found by BZM. BZM really doesn't want to show himself for this kill. He wanted resolution, but eventually he says, here. well, have to suffice. He actually managed to tank the Aether Rem. They're going to use the two-man black hole. Oh, they've got him both with Nisha showing up. Oh, what a turnaround he's from Secret. Battling Eidolons and losing the fight. River nice fight. plant there, the bushwhack. Zayats does what damage he can before he falls, and it might just be enough to help get the return kill on a Chew, as Nisha's going to dive for that one. Puppy turns around, Frostbite's up, BZM, but the Haste Rune, he's going to chase down this poor support. See you later, Puppy. Same time. Oh, nice turnaround from Taiga there. Sick. Do they have the stunts? The Echo Slam is there indeed, and Nisha, oh, Ooh. he gets caught looking. Absolutely beautiful. The yeah. free... Oh, He's going to start puppy. immediately just popping out. Anybody shows themselves, he starts going for Puppy. Secret, though, on the side. They're going to go. Nisha charging in with his own BKB. He's already finished off two. Amar fighting through. He's going to be able to go on the Tusk next. It looks like somehow Puppy was living through a while, but eventually Ibex. that dispersion from Yuragi finished him off. Nisha playing the distance. Poking Crystal out. Yuragi is low. Crystal is showing up and will be able to finish off the Spectre. The carry-on-carry carry battle goes to Secret. Now it's cleanup time. Taiga is going to be next as Chrysalis should be able to chase him down. And an attempt at a Roshan that goes quite awry for OG. That was pretty smart read because they were not killing a bar. They found Nisha. Wants to go for this one. With the control, they have Damn. him. Extra damage from the Grobo amping it up there. Sends him packing. Another D ward for Puppy here as well. OG does not want to give this vision up. Oh, Taiga already saves. Ton damage. Nice snowball save. Completely dodging Ooh. that one. It does set up for the Echo Slam. But Chrysalis, he was just biding his time. He jumps immediately afterwards. Finished off Chu. Amar does drain some damage away, but he is quickly going to lose his life as Chrysalis jumps back in. Still had plenty of damage for that one, Jack. 800 damage crit. Resolution finding Yuragi inside of the trees, too. Bob Samantha gets rid of the Malphus and TPs out. Smart move. Secret. Yeah, that's I, mean, fair. I don't know. I trust Nisha. If Nisha says you take the shard, you probably take it. Missed hole. Nothing. All right. What a fish. Double push. Two-man stun. Zayat's already dead. And Nisha's at half health. Even through his BKB, the physical damage is kind of overwhelming. Amar is going to be able to chase down some of these heroes. Nisha keeps on jumping, jumping out. Puppy doesn't have that same luxury, though. Looks like they're thinking about going back the in with the deck. Oh, they one-shot the Earth Shaker. There goes the two supports. Resolution's back into play. Amalf is stunned onto the Razor. He doesn't have the BKB. Here comes the Amber Spirit. Nisha finishes him off first. BCM chasing after the Enigma. He wants to be able to force a die back, but with a Frostbite out, he's got to jump away from Crystalis, who 
could still be on the hunt. Meanwhile, Yuragi, he's stuck in the trees. A TP out. He's able to get away. Frostbite, though. Echo Slam in return. He's got to stop Chrysalis. Chrysalis gets her grits onto the Earth Shake and finishes him off. Jumps after him. Gets the yeah, kill onto nice. BZM. And Chrysalis will be able to get out, too. Secret can reset from here and start taking the base. Another double support buyback fight from Secret, still taking it on OG's side of the map with the help of the outpost. Age is still up for Crystallis, who just did all the damage in that fight. Again, Hole hit absolutely nothing. If anything, it just baited OG in. <laughs> I mean, suddenly, uh, I was stunned to silence off of that black you hole. Really I had were. no idea what that was, but hey, you know, the fight afterward works, so who cares? Sometimes the end result's all you need. You gonna go thrown? Oh, Why yeah, not? secret. They've been keeping their foot on OG's throat this entire game three, and they will continue it now by going for the tier fours. Desolator damage, full reaver on Crystal. still has ages for two minutes. Ags on Nisha, no haunt up for OG. Yuragi this doesn't even have TP. He's going to have to single John in here. Amar, fight for your throne and fight for your life, son. They're going to snowball back through. Amar punched up in the air. The BKB protecting him for now. He's going to turn back into Nisha. Stun going through. Break immediately throws out the Manta, but the Spectre's already taken too much damage. Nisha just, just goes to town on the two. Finishes him off. BZM looking to pick off supports now. At this point, Puppy, he's definitely dead, but BZM gets caught immediately by the punch up in the air. He gets the Yule Scepter off, though. Allows him to reset the mouth. It's done, though. It lasts a long time. Time and Chris is able G -G. to finish him off, and that is it. GG. Team Secret will bring down OG. A result that I think many would not expect, especially after that game one. Oh, Team Secret fans rejoicing right now. The rebuild of this roster coming into this tournament, showing it off on land. Big happy huddle for them. Pushes them to a top three right off the bat.